Nice. <laughs> Where's the drum beat, man? Anyway, may the fourth be with you, Barrett. Yep. <laughs> New. Any W. <laughs> what is that dog? Something. We got our new win framing nailer. Just coincidentally, it's upside down. Well, how are you doing? I'm doing good. I I still haven't got my test results back. I'm kind of PO'd. Hmm. Um, I feel fine. I felt fine since really Tuesday. I was already felt like I was already back to normal on that Tuesday. I took the test. As a matter of fact, I told Karen I was like, oh, I don't want to go. I'm I feel fine. She was like, You're going. <laughs> oh man. But anyway, this video is about our win framing nailer and i got some other boxes over there what if the masks finally came from china we need to check the box the mailing address on that the return address and decide whether we want to open it or not <laughs> <laughs> so i just barrett just told me who the return address is from clinton this is clinton Remember the guy that I designed the outdoor studio? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. in California? Mm -hmm. They have done really great. I'll have to insert some pictures unless I get lazy on editing. <laughs> not do it. But you can see it on my YouTube channel. You can just look, at, look up outdoor studio or backyard studio or something like that. Yeah, yeah. They finished it. All they need to do is paint it. And he's returning the nail gun. This is how good of a... Oh, okay. this is this is customer service 101 okay i sent him a nail gun so he could do the siding on his project now don't everybody get some idea because he's special <laughs> <laughs> just kidding but that's that must be the nail gun and this must be the nails that he had left over so this is nail gun so i can prove the quality of my customer and my he's now my friend because he sent me, I'm pretty sure these are nails. You said this box was heavy? Yeah, it's got to be nails. He sent me nails that were left over from his, the siding job oh, wow. for letting him. And I said, Clinton, don't do that. Because, you know, it's going to cost $100 just to ship the nails that cost $50 to Tennessee from California, right? But he did it anyway. So I might have the code, but I can't, I can't undo boxes right now. By the way, I will talk about that while we're doing this. I'm losing faith in our new box. medical system. That can't be a new, he must have taped that up really good. That can't be a new box of nails. Open that, we'll see if it, how many nails are in there. But our medical system fa is failing me, okay? Because how do I know, like right now, I asked Barrett, do you want to come today? Because I haven't. Result. Test results back, and then, and being the good son that he is, he said, "Sure." Well, holy cow! Is that new? Uh, I wouldn't know. <laughs> yeah, I know, but there's there's all they're almost the whole box is almost it's almost the whole box. It's only missing a few coils. Right? It would be 12, 12 coils, I think. That's what it is. Yeah. So we can we got some siding nails here. Thank you, Clinton. Thank you, Clinton. Now. Uh, this is the nail gun that we sent him. Got all right, it. so all I did was turn the adjustment screw, Clinton. What, did I do two rotations? I'm just kidding. I'm not giving Clinton a hard time. He's a good guy. Now, look, it's flush. See, that's what you want on siding. Perfectly flush. So there's nothing wrong with my nail gun, which is a good thing. So, Barrett, this is the big mama. Can we get her out? He's pretty big. Let's see if I can dig it out. Tearing it up. Man. Yeah, it's a framing nailer, so it's going to be big. Now, Wynn is not the most expensive, you know, brand, but it does adjust between, like, I think 15 degrees and 30 degrees on the nail. So it allows you to use different angles 
of nails. So oh. I was going to test out, you know how we have those nails left over from building this house? Yeah. I'm going to see the adjustment should be over here. This must be the adjustment right here. So it changed, it must change the angle of the sled thingy. But um, we have some wrenches right here. Oh, that's nice. That looks like the right size and I'm correct. We'll put this in there for better leverage. And you think we should read the instructions? Usually do. <laughs> <laughs> you do. I, I think know. what I, I want to do, do, I think what I want to do is, uh, let's read, I guess so I don't, I don't want to get nails jammed up in here. So, um, Let's read real quick and then we'll come back. All right, so this Barrett knows this little clip fell off and that holds this protective nose on, but you want to take that off anyway, Barrett, because you see this little, you see how this has these little pointy things around here? Mm -hmm. That helps you nail at an angle, okay? Of course, it's not, there's no ammo in it, so we're safe. <laughs> it's like a gun video. But you see how I'm able to yeah. activate it? Well, let me put the nose back on, and you'll see that I can't, um, okay. So I'm not gonna put the clip on, okay? You see, it would just slide. So you can even see how it mars up the wood right there. Yep. That's where it's digging in, so that you can activate the nose at an angle. So Barrett, the nails that I have left over are 30 degree. What that refers to is this angle. See how they're angled, sloped? Mm -hmm. These are the best kind of nails, really, you can buy. They're galvanized, okay, and they're full round headed, okay? Some of the nails you buy and some of the guns you buy only shoot clip headed, and they're kind of D-shaped so that if they're exposed, they look weird, okay? They're D-shaped because of the way they load in the gun and it's it's a function of how the gun works, right? But these paper, I have found these paper collated nails are better than the wire or plastic collated. So I buy these, and I had already, I had these left over from this house, building this house, and they're thirty degree the angle. So when you know we need a hole right here, Barry. <laughs> You think the 34 degree will work? They've got, no idea. they got, what does that say, 28? Yeah, 28. Well, 28 is closer than 34. So we'll try 28. How about that? We're going to, we're going to do something because this is like 50 bucks worth of nails. I don't want to give up. I don't want to throw away. So Barrett, we got to remove this knob. I think I'm holding that bottom thing. I don't know if it's fixed on there. It feels like it's fixed. So I think I'm good. Is that gonna turn? Yeah. So all I should have to do is move this to there. And I bet it'll work on 30 degrees. Yeah, How much you wanna bet? Close. It's only two degrees off. And that was that was relatively simple. I really didn't have to use the Allen wrench except to get it loosened. All right, Barrett. I think it's gonna work. We'll find out. <laughs> I don't want to tear up the gun, but I don't want to lose these nails either. There's the slot. There we go. You see, it has this release back here, just like that. Let's hook her up, man. All right, so Barrett, I put a few drops of Earl in the hole, or that hole. <laughs> I'm trying to look at the video camera. In this hole right here, and then we're gonna hook her up. Man, that was pressured. Now let's try her out here. And you should be able to bump fire this thing. I don't have it set up for bump fire, but that, let's see, where's our setting for bump fire? Which is what you want. I can't see, everything's black, man. There's something. There's full auto right here. Okay, there's <laughs> backing up. <laughs> <laughs> now you should be able to bump fire it. That a baby, because see what you want to be able to do is go. Well, it wouldn't do it wouldn't do that if I was holding it good enough. But yeah, see, I get it. See, that's cool. 
Are we ready to build your deck or what? <laughs> we are ready, baby. And these ring shank nails, you ain't getting those out without some a lot of trouble. Looks like it. Galvanized ring shank, three inches. Good stuff. Now that's a trick. If you wanna, if you wanna, you there's a trick you use to just drive a nail in partial, partially if you want to get a hold of the board and move it, manipulate it, okay? So sometimes you'll see this framers will do that on purpose. I'm gonna, I'm gonna limp wrist it so it won't go all the way in. You see that? You can, you can just drive the nail up and then put your hammer, you know, hook your claw around it and move the board around wherever you need it. And then you can just drive it on in with your hammer. But huh. most of the time, you just want it to go home like that. Yeah. Well, Barrett, I'm impressed. Barrett and I just realized oh. that we, we weren't even thinking about the angle, so the nails work fine. Yeah. I mean, I kind of purposely limp just these, but those uh, work fine. So that means we don't have to waste these nails. Well, we got plenty of nails here to build your deck with. Very nice. Happy. Happy, I'll send you a bill for the nail gun. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So the thing is, as a general contractor, you, you constantly question yourself as to what tools you should buy because your subs, my, you know, Paco's got 20 nail guns. I don't, he doesn't need any. So, but I thought it would be fun. And that's honestly why I bought, I didn't buy the most expensive. These are like, um, is it 250? This is, you know, you can get $600. <laughs> nail guns uh but i just wasn't i think for our purposes this will work fine i'll put a link to this uh this is where we got it what can i say about the testing issue and i felt i have felt good for a week okay what's yep. today monday okay mm -hmm. so i was just getting over my fever a week ago today and but on the next day i was perfectly fine Mm -hmm. And I'm going to say that testing does no good unless you can get your res results back quickly in a timely manner, right? Otherwise, it's just used for statistical purposes, right? So the scientists are all happy that I got tested, right? Because now they have a statistic. What do I have? I have nothing. I still have my wife treat me like a leper, mm. you know? Actually, we gave that up last night. So, so she waited a week, and so I got treated like a, you know, of course I'm joking, but it was it was kind of tough because without having the test results, you don't know, right? There's always that question in the back of your mind, mm -hmm. right? And, of course, I've had to already delete some comments, Barrett, because there are people out there saying, oh, you know, it's a hoax and all this stuff. No, it's not a hoax. Well, it's real. We're dying, so... The, the point, what is the point? The point is about the same amount of people die will die from the regular flu, right? Do we have vaccines for the regular flu? Kind of. You know, a lot of people get them. We did. We had nothing. I don't even know. We should, I probably shouldn't even go into all this mess. No. It's, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's one of those that, damned if you do, damned if you don't. It's like Trump. You know, if he hadn't done anything, if if he had continued down that road of it's a hoax, then and more people would have died, he was damned. But because he acted, you now he's damned because it's a hoax. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's damned if you do. And it all goes back to people who hate anyway, right? The yeah. haters are going to hate, and the other people who build and create stuff are going to keep building and creating. That's us. And I'm proud of you for being one of those people. All right, that's all I'm going to say.